If you're going to play an instrument, you got to figure out how to do it a couple of different ways so that you have options. Fingers work great. Picks are wonderful. There's all kinds of picks you can use. Flat, thin, pointy, all, all types. And I'll leave it up to you to figure out which one feels best for you, has the right sound, because they're all going to have a certain amount of plasticiness, for lack of a better word. How much they... Um, they have the actual weight of the plastic can hit the string, how flexible it is makes a difference in the tone. You'll get more of a flappy sound or the angle at which you hit the string with the pick. So this is how I hold a pick. I roll my finger in like that, put the pick right there on that first, um, that first piece of my finger and then hold it with my thumb down like that. Now I do that because I was taught that way, but also, because then, I was taught that way, because then you can move your thumb and the whole of your finger setup will move, leaving the pick point to wiggle back and forth. Now, when you see that on the string, it'll make a little bit, a little bit more sense. So here, let's look at that. I've got it <clears throat> up against the string. I'm gonna try and exaggerate a little bit my movement, but if I were to do this, Notice I've got my hand in a kind of a cross angle like this, but that's how I always roll with it. Then when I'm plucking the string with the pick, it's... So it's, uh, for, for me, I can push out with my thumb and pull in with my thumb and then get what is the down and then up motion of a pick when it comes to uh, how I attack the strings, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's exactly what we talk about when we're talking about strumming. A lot of times it's down, up, down, up, right? So the same thing is true for picking. I'm gonna have a down, up, down, up. And that way we can never have to move our hand. If we're on one string, never have to move the hand at all, just move the thumb and get an economy of motion for things like stays pretty straightforward. If you're moving across strings, you just hold your hands steady, maybe easier said than done, and then you hold like that, or you can. So you'd get the same motion, same holding the pick angle for when you're strumming, and also when you're picking. So if we go down, up, down, up, down, up, all in the low string, and then in the middle string. So I can go down, up, down, up, down, up. And I'm just switching strings, but you can see my hand's not moving a ton in terms of the actual hand. I'm not doing like this. I'm just doing my thumb and moving the whole hand a bit to get to the strings. I'm sure that leaves questions for you. I would love it if you could tell me what they are so I can address them. I'm not entirely sure how to teach some of these things when it's digital like this, so help me out and let me know. All right, thanks. Three quick requests, one quick suggestion. One, please subscribe to the channel. Two, leave a comment. Three, click the bell so that you know when videos come out. Now my suggestion is, I have a free download, it's on the website, it will help you transpose. I would love for you to download it, let me know if it helps. That way you can learn more songs than I get on the channel. Okay, getting dizzy, bye.